What is going on you guys, B Jack here, and in today's video I will be talking about some candidates for most improved player. Now, when I'm getting into this, I mean, there's of course many other players who could hop into this discussion, uh, but as of now we don't really know who's going to win it, and I'm just naming some players I think could be potentially in it. Now let's start with um, Ben Simmons. So. Ben Simmons, um, of course, is on the Sixers, and this team is a great team, of course, but it's not. that's not really why he's going to improve. It's just because of his team. I think he's going to improve because of his jump shot, and yes, guys, I know I sound stupid there talking about his team, but I think he's going <laughs> to improve because of his jump shot. Um, yes, he made one in the preseason and i'm not only saying three pointers i'm saying jump shots in general i think he will improve then and it will make him potentially a more dangerous player to guard and a more elite scorer of course and that's really my discussion about ben simmons and he's still young he's still improving anyways and every other category basically he could improve in also um so next we can talk about I know guys, I'm, I'm actually wearing a Pacers shirt right now, but um, anyways, and it's too big for me, but anyways, Malcolm Brogdon, um, I think he could be in the most improved discussion, because especially with Victor out um, the first like two months of the season, two to three months of the season, um, it just, it feels that Brogdon can fill in that leadership role as of now and alongside of his other teammates and he's he's still developing also as a young player he's not extremely young but he's about to enter his prime in two years or so and i feel like he could improve a lot uh this season it's just a matter of what he's going to try to do um now i'll talk about shy gilgis alexander Yes, he will not be talked about in a lot of people's discussion for most improved. But the fact that he's going from the Clippers to the Thunder, where he's pretty much going to be leading the Thunder, other than Chris Paul, which Chris Paul is a nice add to him to make him look better next season. But they might trade Chris Paul. I don't know. But either way, I feel like he's going to take on more of a scoring outburst because he's going to be on a team where he's going to be more dependent on to score whereas on the Clippers he wasn't as dependent on to score and he is still young guys I feel like he could still improve and jump out and stand out I mean it's just as simple as that um now we can go over Zach Levine now Zach Levine he I kind of think he's underrated as of now because He's a 20 plus point per game scorer easily. And yes, he's on the Bulls, but he's probably about to get in his prime within these next two years or so um, as well. And he could make the Bulls potentially better, which could help him in the most improved discussion. Him alongside as Laurie Markinen, who could also probably be a candidate for it also. Um, why do I really think they're going to improve? Because they were still developing and they they just show improvements every year, I feel. And I, I don't know. Let me know down below in the comment section who you guys think can be in the most improved NBA player discussion. And uh, if you're new, make sure to subscribe because we like to post basketball content on this channel and many other things. Uh, just request them down below. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.